Common Rabbit Diseases There are some common diseases and problems seen in rabbits that can be prevented by ensuring you have an understanding of what a healthy rabbit requires and the subtle signs that can tell you your rabbit is unwell. Rabbits are wonderful domesticated pets, but it should be remembered that they are very closely related to wild rabbits, and as such will hide signs of illness until they are very unwell, as this would make them easy prey in nature. We encourage close observations of your pet rabbit, a correct diet, up-to-date vaccinations and regular health checks to ensure you pick up the early signs of problems and prevent diseases developing. Overgrown teeth. A rabbit's teeth continually grow throughout its life and if a rabbit is not constantly grinding their teeth down by eating fiber we start to see their molar teeth forming sharp spikes that damage their cheeks and tongue. This causes pain that makes them reluctant or unable to eat. The incisors at the front of the mouth can in severe cases grow around in a curl meaning rabbits cannot close their mouth or eat at all. Once a rabbit stops eating their gut stops working and they can die. Prevention 80 to 90 percent of your rabbit's diet needs to be fiber in the form of oaten or grass hay. The rest of the diet should be leafy greens, with pellets and other treats being minimal to non-existent. Treatment a general anesthetic and burring the teeth flat is the only treatment that can correct overgrown teeth. Cause and clinical signs. Close contact with an infected rabbit can easily transfer the Pasteurella multocida bacterium to your rabbit. The bacteria can affect the eyes, discharge, redness, squinting, and forward slash or nose, sneezing, discharge, thus giving the disease its name snuffles. Pasteurella can infect other areas of the body as well, including ears, resulting in a head tilt, abscesses, seen as lumps on the body, and uterine infections. Prevention Some strains of the bacteria remain latent in the rabbit's nasal tract until the immune system is placed under stress, such as when a new diet or pet is introduced or if overcrowding occurs. Reducing stress for rabbits that are infected and the quarantine of new rabbits are good ways of preventing introduction of the disease or recurrence of signs. Treatment Treatment involves a long and sometimes repeated course of antibiotics. Occasionally surgery is required if an abscess forms. Hairballs, trichobezoars Cause and clinical signs Hair can normally be found in a rabbit's stomach as they self-groom. However, as rabbits cannot vomit, hair must be able to pass through the gut. If it can't then it will form an obstruction and serious complications. Hair balls are so common that they should always be considered as a problem in any rabbit that is lethargic and not eating. Prevention Hair balls are more likely to become a problem if there is an issue with the gastrointestinal tract, gut stasis, or they are not receiving enough fiber in their diet, so a high fiber diet is a great preventative measure. Treatment Sometimes surgery is the only treatment if the hair ball causes a blockage in the gut. Medication to get the gut working again can also help. Uterine tumors Cause and clinical signs. Entire female rabbits can develop a cancer called uterine adenocarcinoma and it should be suspected any time a new ND sexed female rabbit becomes sick. Some of the more common clinical signs include blood stained vaginal discharge, aggressive behavior, mammary gland cysts, and lethargy. Prevention Desexing early at 4 to 6 months of age. Treatment Desexing, hopefully prior to the cancer spreading through the body. Myxomatosis. Cause and clinical signs. Myxomatosis is a virus that is transmitted by mosquitoes, fleas or by close contact between an infected rabbit and a susceptible rabbit. The disease is recognized by swelling and discharge from the eyes, nose and anal genital region. Prevention. Unfortunately there is no vaccination available in Australia. Invest in a mosquito-proof rabbit hutch or bring your rabbit inside at dawn and dusk when mosquito levels are higher. 
fleet control can help and when introducing new rabbits keep them isolated for at least two weeks.